What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to be going over a little bit of the craziness that was happening in all of the different markets today with the crypto in the stock markets. There were some forced liquidations going on that we need to be aware of. And we're going to go over a little bit of some trading tips and tricks that you guys can actually apply in your own trading strategy to really make the most out of all of these reversals that we're going to be seeing in the market all of the time with a lot of this volatility. Because again, what goes up, must come down nothing is going to go up or down in a straight line forever there are going to be relief bounces or sell-offs and overall reversals here so guys before we get into all of that information if you do enjoy the information and analysis that i provide for you guys in these videos make sure you go down and hit that like button it costs you nothing to do it but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn and if you guys do want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post new videos so let's get right into the charts here and pull up the spy on the daily time frame so we are having the midterm elections today but again as i said in yesterday's video we're most likely not going to see any volatility based on the midterms until tomorrow or the next day just based on all of the mail-in ballots that still need to be counted after tonight's voting period is finished so we're still going to be seeing some volatility and some pretty crazy moves uh based on the midterms throughout the end of this week as we go into Thursday, which is going to be huge, the CPI. Now, looking at this chart here, well, we're starting to see a little bit of a trend starting to establish here. We are seeing this by trying to make this move up. We were up about half a percent today. The MACD not really telling us a whole lot. The RSA, RSI trying to get above its moving average here. Um, and again, it is starting to pivot up. It is above 50, but with all of the volatility that we were seeing, like I've said a lot of recently, swing trading is going to be very difficult right now just due to the overall gap ups and gaps down that we're seeing and the crazy overnight moves that have been happening. So again, if you are going to be swing trading, make sure you guys get enough time on your positions. But taking a look at the SPY on the five minute time frame today, we saw something very interesting. So the original sell off, the bounce off the 200 EMA in a really aggressive rally all the way up to these highs up here. Now, if you guys were on the stream with me today, you guys know that before I was on the stream, I was in puts, uh, really, really thinking that the market was going to have a reverse here. So here's what I was looking at, and I want you guys to be able to understand this as well. So with these new MACD settings here, 2452.18, what I saw was a weakening bullish trend here. So we started to see the MACD losing its bullish momentum here. Now, again, you can't use any of these one indicators by itself in order to really formulate a trading plan, but using them in confluence with price action and other indicators like we're going to talk about here with the RSI paints you a nice picture of the overall market. And as you guys will notice here, I was actually getting in before we saw this 1348 cross. Like we always say, 1348 is the core, but all of the other things that we talk about and teach really, really help you get to the next level here. So here's what I was seeing. We first saw the declining bullish momentum here, and we also saw the RSI, the relative strength index, starting to pivot down below its moving average here, both showing signs that the bullish trend was most likely coming to an end. So I ended up getting puts on these couple of candles right here. It ended up coming down and I scaled out, giving myself a little bit of breathing room. Now, it did end up running all the way back up to right around 385, and then death candles. Now, and then I use the stop loss strategy that I've been talking about a lot with you guys that enabled me to hold this all the way down to this 200 EMA, and I got stopped out on this bounce right back up well in profit. So hopefully you guys are able to use some of that to your own advantage here. Again, watch this uh, these new settings on the MACD. Make sure that you're watching the RSI and use market context as well. What goes up must come down. And again, today was an absolutely crazy day for our group over here. Odin, 4% on the day. Uh, we had some pretty crazy ones up here. MB Doctor, 21% on his account for the day. Nightblood, 20%. Pepe with another crazy day. Elgene, 22%. Again, if you guys do want to come in and learn more about this, get access to all of these proprietary trading algorithms, the only ones out for retail investors right now on the market. Make sure you guys check out that link down below. We're the best place to come and learn how to trade. The results speak for themselves, but the things that we layer on top of it really help take you guys to the next level. But again, we were watching the dollar today. The dollar ended up slipping down below that psychological level of 110 kind of helping the market rally back up the 10-year treasury yield was down today as well but then we move into bitcoin here which was down about 11 percent today at the current time that i'm recording at 18,300 or so dollars here now what's been happening here that is causing bitcoin to sell off well it's a very similar situation to what we were seeing with three arrows capital in celsius now it may not be as severe but when you start to see signs or 
a little bit of an indication that FTX, which we're going to talk about, the brokerage, um, is actually having some liquidity issues. It really freaks a lot of people out for good reason, because a lot of people lost a lot of money on the collapse of Celsius, Three Arrows, and Voyager. So coming over here, kind of giving us a little bit of an indication of what's going on, crypto ex exchange FTX saw around 6 billion of net withdrawals in 72 hours before Tuesday morning, CEO Sam Bankman-Fried in a Telegram message to staff. Now, when we see a lot of these liquidations happening here in the sell-off in the crypto market, again, people are going to be liquidated. So in the last 24 hours, we saw about $854 million worth of crypto being forcibly liquidated out of accounts. Now, in the past 24 hours, 400,858 traders were liquidated. Now, again, a lot of these traders are trading with leverage here and 90% plus of investors or traders end up failing. Make sure that you guys have your stop losses set and make sure that you're entering with some sort of strategy. I know we talk a lot about risk management and overall mindset going into trading. Again, method, mindset, money management. Um, but make sure that you're not gonna fall into this category here where you're getting forcibly liquidated out of your positions. Now, what exactly was happening today? Well. Bitcoin briefly drops to a new low for the year. FTX token loses more than 75% in broad crypto sell-off. Now, in crypto equities, Coinbase slid 11%. Robinhood, which Bankman-Fried has a 7.6% uh, stake in, was lower by about 14.5%. Crypto banks like Silvergate and uh, Signature in Bitcoin miners like Hut8 and Riot Blockchain were down double-digit percentages. The moves came after Bankman-Fried, CEO of crypto exchange F uh, FTX, announced on Twitter that Binance will buy its non-US business for an undisclosed sum. Now, coming down a little bit further, the deal will only affect uh, the non-US, uh, or the deal will affect only the non-US businesses of FTX and Binance. The US arms of each company, Binance US and FTX US, are separate and will be unaffected. Bankman Fried, also known as F uh, SBF, said in recent tweets, the deal has not closed and the companies have more due diligence to do. Now, this is the point that is causing a lot of concern. If they can't make a deal and FTX really has this liquidity crisis going on, then you could see more liquidations, the FTX token selling off even more due to all of this uncertainty, which can drag down the crypto markets and can also drag down the equity markets too, which is why we're talking about that in this video here. We typically don't talk about the crypto markets or crypto in general, but this is very relevant to what we have going on. Just looking at markets in general here, there are a lot of mirrors uh, to the Celsius and Three Arrows crisis that happened months ago. And what you're seeing is investors having deja vu in fear leaking into markets. That's a essentially what we're looking at here. Everybody is very, very scared that we could be headed towards another Celsius and three arrows like event in this given marketplace here. Now, when you think about what's happened with FTX over the last couple of months, remember they stepped in and saved a couple of these other brokerages and other firms. So FTX is viewed right now as more so of a safe um, uh, business or company in the crypto space. Now they're having problems that's causing a lot of fear. So if they're able to resolve this, you probably won't see um, any volatility after this is resolved. But if this deal can't end up going through, like we said, that FTX token gonna probably sell off even more. And Bit the, the Bitcoin market and the crypto market as a whole is going to be increasingly volatile. Now, again, if you want exposure to that in the equity markets, you can play stocks like Coinbase, Riot Blockchain, Mara, and a couple of other names out there um, that could easily sell off or provide more volatility than they typically would because of these situations happening right now. So guys, that is mainly gonna wrap up this video here. If you did enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you guys in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who actually want to learn. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.